I won't be downloading any jars and importing any jars into the project but I'll directly be adding my dependencies in my pom.xml file so to begin with the two main APIs being used in any read write work in Java are um, java.io API and apache poi java.io API comes with java it's mainly it's it's an API that is used to read and write data apache poi is another API that allows programmers to play with ms office using java java.io API is inbuilt but we still need to add the apache poi dependencies so i'll do that from the apache or actually from the maven repository website i'll add this url in the description below but i've already added that here in my form non xml file so along with apache poi uh, and apache oo xml dependencies i've also added the test engine and the selenium dependencies here so let's get to it so now let's create a new method let's call it or data read test now the first thing to do is to point to the excel sheet location so we do that using the file class let's create an object of the class file and we pass our excel sheet location here that's not the complete path xlsx file perfect it's going to throw an error let's hover over this so we need to import the file class from the java non io package the second step is to pass the source as a parameter in the file input stream class file input stream class is another class that belongs to uh, the java non io package and it also helps in loading the excel sheet file input stream equals to new let's pass source there so let's import this class it's still throwing a, an error here it's asking us to add throw his declaration let's go for the generic exception so then it handles all the various different kinds of exceptions so basically we are looking at exception handling move on and now let's load the complete excel workbook in order to do that we would use a class called xssf workbook belonging to the apache uh, package so let's create an object of that class and let's pass fis in your So now we are going to import the XSSF workbook class belonging to the Apache POI package. There. XSSF workbook deals with XLSX file, but say if we had a .xls file, uh, not to work on non-XLS files, we basically use the same code, but instead of XSSF workbook class, we use the HSSSF class. So I'm going to add that code here, but I'm going to comment it now. 
this is for .mxls files. So now what the XSSF workbook does is it basically loads your entire workbook. But now what I'm looking for is a specific sheet in my workbook. So now in my workbook named read data, I have two different sheets, data, data two. Now I'm interested in the data within the sheet one. So in order to pass that information here, I'm going to make use of the class XSSF sheet. Let's call it sheet. So now let's point at the entire workbook XSF and then get a specific sheet from that workbook. So get sheet add the zeroth index so that's the first sheet let's import this class from the apache package so using this sheet you can perform all sorts of uh, operations such as um, reading data from a specific row and a specific column so let's test that out so let's get data from the second row and second column so get cell the second column and let's get the string value of the data now we can store this data in a string so let's create a new string and let's name it say entry one Let's print out this entry to check if we are getting the value required. So let's say sys out control space the data in the boxes. And we're going to print out that data. Entry one. There we go. Always make sure to close the workbook once your operation is done so let's close the workbook by simply using xsfs dot close there we go now let's run this as a test ng test and see the results oh it's not showing me um run as test ng because i forgot to add the test annotation here you can follow my video on how to set up test ng in eclipse to understand more about this i'm going to add a link to that as well below ml file let's run as test ng test So here we have one runs, one passes, zero failures, and the data in the box was pass one. Let's go ahead and verify that. So we are looking at the second row and the second column. Pass one, there it is.